Dearest souls and family, we call you family as you are connected to us in many more ways than you are able to comprehend at this moment in time. And there are many of you who have been us in what you call your past. We would like to have the pleasure of speaking to you about time and the frustration it causes you in your world. You understand time as a linear constraint that is finite like a piece of string. In your world, you would cut a length of string and lay it straight on a surface and imagine a time measurement that is relevant to the start and the end of that piece of string. The middle part would be the duration of events and experiences upon which soul growth is attained by coming and going back and forth from your planet and visiting others in the meantime. Upon this piece of string you often enjoy labelling markers like dates and you follow its straight and linear line marking information and moments from your now. You are always recording from your now moment. That is your point of view of time, going from A to B and marking what happens in the now whilst you travel along it. To understand in linear terms how time works outside of the constraints that you have, would be for us to take a piece of string and attach one end to the other forming a circle whereby there is no end or beginning and watch time moving all together in a circular fashion we would be marking within the circle of time as well as the piece of string itself now imagine that your earthly piece of string was very long you were not able to see the ends because they were out of your vision this is the frustration that some of you experience regarding your ego as this part of the mind wishes to see the end of the pieces of string to help formulate what will come next in terms of helping you plan for circumstances that will appear better to help your growth and experiences. Now imagine again our point of view whereby we link the strings ends and seal them together again. A circle lies before us with the past, present and future going round and around before our eyes laid out before us. We are recording time as a whole, not in the now. This allows us to set the highest and greatest timelines and perceive how they will play out as the consequences come around again affecting the past, present and the future as a whole. And this is where so much frustration accumulates on your planet at this time as you have temporary limited vision of what is and what will come back around again. As you feel the train on the track has left the station never to return. On the track we envision the train will be coming around again and again with nothing lost but elements where other moments are instead happening which can be influenced. We feel your level of frustration regarding timelines as the multidimensional element of yourself begins to waken and remember the circular piece of string subconsciously while still having to work out of the box which says linear time. The result of this being that you wish to compensate this by experiencing everything in the now as that is the only perception that is obvious to you within the current limitation you are working out of. This will change. Have patience. This can result in you comprehending moments in your life that do not have the maturity yet in perception regarding how to work for the outcomes of every person on the planet and Gaia herself. That is why there are 9D collectives and angelics working for your ascension process who can perceive many timelines all at once and be in all of those places working simultaneously in what you call a now moment or for us, working on many different parts of the piece of string that we have before us as a circle. Your work is so important at this moment in time on Gaia and we ask that you do not get too, as Alex would say, bogged down with timelines as this can formulate unnecessary expectations that are second best to the outcomes that are actually coming to you. We understand the frustration of working out of an only now moment to moment paradigm and wanting everything in that now. However, this can blur your understanding of creation and what is needed for Gaia and the collective regards the highest outcomes affecting the past, present and the future which are working together simultaneously in every moment. There is a silver thread holding realities together that is delicate. 
That is why galactics wish not to offer timelines and dates, as it would do more harm than good. We as much as you want to be a family reunited together again in what you call disclosure, and you want it now. We know this, and it is closer than ever before, however it must arrive at a time when it is best for the collective and not the few, as this will create the highest outcomes and the least damaging consequences for all on Gaia and herself. To suddenly move from eons of deception into full immediate truth would be more harmful than helpful. This must be done incrementally, however, the speed at which this is happening is greatly moving in pace beyond even our expectations, dear ones. Working within the now can slow some dear soul's perspective on outcomes for the collective. For example, have it now, think about the consequences later. Needing instant gratification without understanding what the consequential timelines that will follow this instant fix in the now will be when they arrive or how to deal with them when they have overwhelmed you at a later stage are issues you face when working from a limited field of perception. Please trust in the plan, dear ones. We are are working hard on the other side although you do not see it. The light has won but it takes time to filter through down to your reality. To finish, as your cellular consciousness energy begins to speed up vibrationally, so will your time along with other physics that you have not yet mastered in your world. Eventually your time will speed up with fewer hours in your day, with the two ends of string that will match creating a circle upon which you will look back and wonder why you were ever rushing like addicts, substituting first place for second place because you had to have it all in your now, never wondering what the greater picture may be. All of this results in hindering your perception of what is needed in your personal life. We ask that you focus on your own self-exploration during this time and lest the collective timeline regards these larger matters, such as ETs arriving on your planet. Having confirmation from your leaders would be satisfying for a smaller group of you, but not helpful in dealing with immediate issues requiring your action in your world at this moment in time that are more pressing. This also, dear ones, is why we do not give dates, as it upsets so many of you when the date passes and your expectations have not been met. This is partly down to the collective manifesting on your planet. So we ask that you walk before you run and relax into your reality a little more. A calm state of mind is productive and slowing down facilitates clarity, which is what you call on Earth working smart, or the ability to achieve more with less. We are with you at all times and we love you more than you know or can understand and are working with the collective and each and every one of you that calls upon us at this moment in time. Everything that is happening is necessary for the great evolution. You are like a teenager with one foot in adulthood and one foot in childhood not knowing where to turn and wanting everything in the now and overcompensating for this with impatience which leads to lower outcomes, which we feel and understand. Allow the growing process to happen, dear souls. This is a message to say, trust the plan, the light has one. You cannot perceive the full mechanics of it all in much the same way you do not question the engine in your car. You simply get in and drive. Call upon us. The future on Earth looks wonderful from where we are. And you will still enjoy all of this, the fruits of this, in your lifetime. We are in service to you at all times. We are your family, your brothers, your sisters, and much more. 